seeing the people that are living in the technologies and making it real is very exciting because we weren't even there nine months ago. I mean, when we first started talking about this stuff, it was all, oh yeah, we're experimenting with it. We're doing some stuff here. We've been now it, it's, it's true reality. You know, we've always said in the consortium that it takes what three times I think for an idea to stick when you have four or five different companies present over the course of a few months on these things and you start to see themes developing and how they're approaching it and what they're doing with it. You know that the the funnel is actually starting to get somewhere where we're operationalizing all of these things, which I think is super, super interesting and exciting. I can't wait to share so much of this with so many people. <laughs> Just a ton of really great examples, methodologies, um, seeing that people have overcome some of the challenges and really fit together a process. That's what I'm excited about sharing. You guys are way ahead of the curve in terms of most people are still in the panic mode, right? So everybody's got to jump on the AI bandwagon and they're they're getting executive pressure. So they got to like temper that somehow or everybody's just implementing in general and, and there's a lot of chaos around it. So I think the organization and structure you guys are putting around it is going to be really beneficial down the road. A lot of the stuff that we have been working on translates really well into the AI world. We don't need to invent new ways of of, of doing business or, or being, and that change management is as important as it always was. And that's something the machine doesn't change. That's one of the reasons that so much of our measures of our program are relying on feedback from users, because that's going to give you the kind of Trust level, I think most people are, are, especially with technology, accepting of some level of issues, you know, but they're, you know, one of the questions we ask in our, in our surveys is, you know, do you want to continue to use this tool? Is it helping with your work right now? Do you want to keep using it? How do you feel about the overall experience? Those kinds of signals will help us, help us understand the kind of intangible value that they're getting out of it over and above the error rate yeah, or the thumbs is- up, thumbs down on the input. Yeah great discussions and comments. We heard from a lot of different perspectives that fit together and built on each other. So pretty confident that services groups have always, in my mind, been some of the most organized groups in companies because you kind of have to be based on the job that we do. And I think that is helping us in this transition and these changing times to be thoughtful about how we're doing it and doing it in the right way. And as always, the kind of consortium membership and the people that are a part of this community are continuing to be some of the smartest people that I think we get to interact with. 